Hey guys, real quick video on how I get water out of hydraulic fluid. The last two projects, the bulldozer and the wood chipper, both had issues with water in the fuel in the hydraulic system. The bulldozer had a hole in the top of the reservoir. It had been run with water in the system. After getting the water out of the oil, I just used that for flushing. Um, the whole system was taken apart and resealed. Um, I, I flushed it with the old fluid, then put new in. The wood chipper, um, it was brand new fluid. Top came off the reservoir. It rained in it. It sat. It was never ran. So my process is open metal container and a heat gun. Same as the professionals do, they aerate it, warm it, um, evaporate the water off. You can actually see, if you look close, if I can get it in here, you'll see the moisture droplets bead up and go to the side. This fluid started out like milk. Uh, there was white sludge on the bottom of the tank. The tank has all been cleaned and scrubbed and rinsed out and dried. This fluid's been here, this is five gallons. Um, it's probably been here 30 minutes. And you can see as the water evaporates off, your color's gonna change and your clarity will change. It's probably gonna take an hour total at $75 a gallon, or for five gallons, I've got plenty of time to set this up and do something else while I'm working. While I'm, you know, waiting for the fluid to get rid of all the moisture. Um, I've tried different methods on the dozer. I tried the heating with a propane. That, besides being dangerous, it cooks all the viscosity out of your oil. I tried the submersive electric element which we won't even get into how dangerous that is. That was almost a, a nightmare, have a fire extinguisher on hand if you try that. Um, so the most effective way I've found is the same as the professional services. You have to circulate the fluid in a warm, dry environment. You want to warm the oil, but not boil. See if that helps somebody out. It works for me. You know what? I, I, I buy and repair a lot of equipment. Um, I own a lot of equipment that has hydraulic tanks and fluid. And you know what? At, at the cost of hydraulic fluid, if you leave a cap off or cap falls off or something else, it gets really, really expensive. But I'm not a commercial business, so I can do whatever I want. Hope this helped everybody out. Have a great day.